sole proprietorship or one-man business, the sole proprietor owns slash manages and controls his business independently. He also makes provision for capital and decides on what type of business to undertake. He is the sole decision taker of his business and above all, he bears all the risk involved in the course of running the business alone. Advantages of Sole Proprietorship 1. He takes quick decisions since he has no need to consult any other person. 2. He has personal relationship with his customers and employees. 3. Bureaucratic process is reduced. 4. Requires small capital to be established. 5. Personal supervision ensures an effective operation at all time. 6. He enjoys privacy in his business. 7. He equally enjoys tax advantage as he does not pay company tax rather what he pays is limited to his personal income tax. Disadvantages of sole proprietorship 1. He bears all the risk involved in the business single-handedly. 2. Expansion is not easily achieved due to limited capital. 3. Advantages of limited liability is not obtainable. 4. The death of the sole proprietor marks the end of the business. 5. Absence of specialization. 6. Advantage of large-scale production is ruled out. Partnership business, this is the type of business unit that is made up of 2 to 20 persons as financiers and profit earners of the business. The capital necessary for the business is also small even though it is bigger than the sole proprietorship. Before a partnership is established, a partnership agreement will have to be made and signed by the partners. The agreement indicates a. The name of the business and partners b. The amount of capital contributed by each partner. c. How profit and losses will be shared. d. Duration of the partnership. e. The admission of new partners. f. The general organization of the business. Note that the partnership business must be registered within 14 days of its existence and any alteration on the above information must be modified and reported to the registrar within the same 14 days. Partnership can be limited or unlimited. Limited partnership, here partner's liability may be committed to the amount of capital he contributed to the business. However such a partner is prevented from taking part in the management of the business. Unlimited partnership, here each partner is liable for all the debt even to the extent of his private property in the event of liquidation. Advantages of partnership 1. There is more resources for expansion. 2. Risks involved are shared among the partners. 3. Fair administration is obtainable as running of the business is shared among partners. 4. The partnership maintains privacy in business. 5. There is a degree of specialization from experiences of the partners. 6. The partnership enjoys tax advantage. Disadvantages of partnership 1. The death of one partner may cause a setback in the running of the business. 2. Economies of large-scale production may not be possible since the capital for the business is small. 3. Important decision regarding the welfare of the business may be delayed since each of the partners must be consulted before decisions are taken. 4. There is room for misunderstanding since the business is made up of people of different background and business intentions. Joint Stock or Limited Liability Company this is an association of individuals who come together to form a business by contributing capital by way of shares. The body is regarded as an entity, which can sue and be sued. The shareholders in the business bears the risk involved. The immediate running of the business is done by certain officials who are employed and paid. 
At the upper level are board of directors elected by the shareholders of the company. Types of joint stock company 1. Public company and 2. Private company Difference between private and public company 1. Private membership start from 2 to 50 persons while public membership starts from 7 minimum without limit. 2. Private shareholders can't be transferred without the full consent of the authority while public shareholders can easily be transferred. 3. Private has declaration of balance sheet to public while public does not declare account public. 4. In private voting rights is not allowed and shareholders may not participate in the immediate running of the business while in public voting rights is allowed and shareholders may participate in the running of the business. 5. Private do escape some protocol involved in registration while public does not escape protocol in registration. Formation of joint stock company, in forming a limited liability company, at least two people, as in the case of private or at least seven, as in the case of public draws up and signs a memorandum of association which shows a. The name of the company fully registered and incorporated. b. The address of the registered office. c. The objectives of the company. d. The type of shares and amount of capital. e. The liability of the members is limited to the amount of shares. Note that the memorandum contains Article of Association, which states the regulations of the company, when and where meetings shall be held, share transferring, borrowing, and powers of the managing directors and their limitations. Advantages of Joint Stock Company 1. Expansion is easy because the company can raise money through many sources. 2. Economies of large-scale production is encouraged. 3. Specialization is seen at the extreme. 4. Shareholders enjoy limited liability. 5. Profits accrued are used to provide social services. 6. There is continuity of business even at death of shareholder. 7. It has an open company for any person wishing to join. Disadvantages of joint stock 1. It enjoys no privacy, the statement of the company's account are usually made public. 2. Tax advantages are not enjoyed owing to the fact that their account and profits earned are made known to the government. 3. There is room for individual initiatives. 4. The shareholders slash owners do not control the business. 5. The management of the company is made up of salaried persons who often than not pursue policies aimed at achieving their own selfish ends. 6. There is absolute lack of personal relationship between the shareholders and the employees. Types of shares a. Ordinary shares. B. Preference shares. C. Cumulative preference shares. D. Debentures. Cooperative society, this is a form of business organization set by producers, consumers, or financiers for the benefits of members of the association. The proceeds of the produced goods are distributed among the participants. Types of Cooperative Societies 1. Consumers Cooperative Society, is a society or business organization of consumers who pull their resources together to buy consumer goods on wholesale basis which they store for resale to both members and non-members at the prevailing retail price. They deal mainly with the sales of commodities. The Consumer Cooperative Society is further broken into a. Consumer Cooperative Wholesale Association whose dealings are all on wholesale basis and b. Consumer Cooperative Retail Association whose dealings are purely on retail basis. The emphasis here is buying and selling. In the Cooperative Society, 
profits can be shared among the members based on the purchase made by members. In this case the higher the purchase, the higher the profit and vice versa. 2. Producers Cooperative Society The producers combine to pull their products together for the purpose of large-scale production even at a reduced cost. The producers sell their products to the society and profits are shared equally among them. 3. Credit and Thrift Cooperative Society This is formed by low-income earners. Here, its members encourage savings, although, part of what is saved or contributed is given out as loans to their members at a very low interest rate. Benefits of Cooperative Societies 1. They bring about stability of trade. 2. It is democratically managed since each member has only one vote. 3. There is little or no expenditure on advertisement. 4. There is free entry and exit. 5. Loans can easily be granted to the society by financial institutions, banks. 6. The amount of profits made by each member is subject to his purchases from the cooperative store. 7. Management training is encouraged. 8. Savings are encouraged and used efficiently. 9. The members fight and protect their own interest. Pitfalls of Cooperative Societies 1. Maladministration resulting from inexperience. 2. Petty quarrels may lead to mutual distrust. 3. People of questionable character may join business. Economic Importance of Cooperative Societies 1. They help to increase the income of their members. 2. They offer loans to members at reduced interest rate and also make capital available for the economy. 3. They help in facilitating the marketing of agricultural products. 4. They encourage savings among low-income earners. Public enterprises or corporations are statutory bodies established by law and controlled by the state for the operation of basic public services. They are established to run services which private investors cannot afford to embark on due to high capital requirement as well as low profit prospects. Advantages of Public Enterprises 1. Provision of necessary social facilities like education and health care centers. 2. Capable of expanding to any size. 3. Large-scale production is achieved. 4. They enjoy monopolistic powers. 5. Their operation is carried out without any competitor. 6. Legal personality is ensured as it can sue and be sued. Disadvantages of public enterprises 1. Serves as dumping ground for politicians with little or no business know-how and irresponsibility. 2. Exploitation of consumers is at extreme as a result of the monopolistic powers. 3. Embezzlement and misappropriation of funds. 4. Inefficiency on production resulting to wastage. 5. Decision and changes are delayed. Sources of revenue for business enterprises. 1. Personal contributions or savings. 2. Borrowing from individuals. 3. Obtaining loans from financial institutions. 4. Issuance of shares and debentures. 5. Credit purchases and. 6. Plowback or reinvesting profits. Problems of business enterprises. 1. Location of business enterprises. Location of business and strategic position goes a long way in affecting the profitability of the business. 2. Availability of raw materials. 3. Infrastructural problems such as inadequate supply of electricity, bad roads etc. 4. Lack of sufficient capital. 
5. Lack of sufficient indigenous manpower. 6. Low demands for products and unhealthy competition. 7. Problems of meeting trade union demands. 8. Government intervention. 9. Political instability. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel to get updated on more videos. Subscribe, like and share on all platforms. To connect with us log on to our website at www.funumu.com. On Facebook and Twitter at Funumu Education. Or send us an email at contact at funumu.com.